In this video, I'll be looking at 1.6 rationalizing denominators. 1.6 represents chapter 1, section 6 of the Pearson A level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. I'm going to start off the section by explaining what it means to rationalize the denominator. Well, it just means getting rid of the square root in the denominator. So over here, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different fractions. I want to rationalize the denominator. Let's start off with the first fraction. We multiply this fraction by square root a over square root a. Second fraction, we multiply by a minus square root b over a minus square root b. The inverse of plus is minus. Third fraction, we multiply by a plus square root b over a plus square root b. The inverse of minus is plus. For the fourth fraction, we multiply by square root a minus square root b over square root a minus square root b. The inverse of plus is minus. For the fifth fraction, we multiply by square root a plus square root b over square root a plus square root b. The inverse of minus is plus. Here are some examples. Rationalize the denominator and simplify the following. We have part A, B, C and D. Let's start off with part A. For this fraction, we need to multiply by square root 5 over square root 5. 1 multiplied by square root 5 is square root 5 over square root 5 multiplied by square root 5 is 5. There is no square root in the denominator of this fraction. Hence, this fraction is rationalized. Moving on to part B. For this fraction, you need to multiply by 3 plus square root 7 over 3 plus square root 7. 1 multiplied by 3 plus square root 7 is 3 plus square root 7 over 3 minus square root 7 multiplied by 3 plus square root 7. The denominator is of the form difference of two squares. Now difference of two squares states the following x squared minus y squared is equivalent to x minus y in bracket multiplied by x plus y in bracket. So I can use the difference of two squares and rewrite the denominator in the form x squared minus y squared. So in this particular case it will be 3 squared minus square root 7 squared. The numerator is just 3 plus square root 7. Okay so we have 3 plus square root 7 over 3 squared, which is 9, minus square root 7 squared, which is 7. Simplifying further gives us 3 plus square root 7 over 9 take away 7, which is 2. This is my answer. Now, I can find an equivalent answer to this particular answer, and that is by splitting this fraction into two parts. So if I do this, I get 3 over 2 plus square root 7 over 2. These two answers are equivalent. Moving on to part C. For this fraction, I need to multiply by square root 3 minus square root 7 over square root 3 minus square root 7. The inverse of plus is minus. Okay, now the numerator will be square root 3 minus square root 7 in bracket squared over the denominator will be square root 3 plus square root 7 multiplied by square root 3 minus square root 7. The denominator is of the form difference of two squares. So I can rewrite the denominator in this particular form, x squared minus y squared. So we have square root 3 squared minus square root 7 squared. The numerator, I can write it in two brackets, square root 3 minus square root 7, square root 3 minus square root 7. Now, I need to expand the numerator. So if I expand the numerator, I get square root 3 multiplied by square root 3, which is 3. Square root 3 multiplied by negative square root 7 is negative square root 21. I can use the multiplication rule for sets to give me negative square root 21. 7 times 3 is 21. Negative square root 7 
multiplied by square root 3 is negative square root 21. Negative square root 7 multiplied by negative square root 7 is positive 7. All over square root 3 squared, which is 3, minus square root 7 squared, which is 7. Okay, 3 plus 7 is 10. Negative square root 21, negative square root 21 is negative 2 square root 21. All over 3 take away 7, which is negative 4. This is my answer. I can write my answer in another form, which is equivalent to this particular fraction. And that form comes from splitting this fraction into two parts. Okay, so we have 10 divided by minus 4, which as a simplified fraction will just be negative 5 over 2. Then negative 2 divided by negative 4, as a simplified fraction, would be positive a half. Then we have square root 21. So these two answers are equivalent. Moving on to part D. The very first step is to expand the denominator. So you can write it in two brackets. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 3 multiplied by negative square root 2 is negative 3 square root 2. Negative square root 2 multiplied by 3 is negative 3 square root 2. Negative square root 2 multiplied by negative square root 2 is positive 2. We can simplify further to give us 4 over 9 plus 2 is 11. Negative 3 square root 2, negative 3 square root 2 is negative 6 square root 2. Now this fraction over here has not been rationalized. In the denominator we have a square root. So now we need to rationalize this particular denominator. So what can we do then? Ladies and gents, well, we can multiply this fraction by 11 plus 6 square root 2 over 11 plus 6 square root 2. Right, so we have 4 in bracket 11 plus 6 square root 2 over 11 minus 6 square root 2 in bracket 11 plus 6 square root 2. Let's take it a step further. Expand the numerator. 4 times 11 is 44. 4 times a positive 6 square root 2 is positive 24 square root 2. All over. This over here is of the form difference of 2 squares. So I can rewrite the double bracket in the form x squared minus y squared. So in this particular case, it will be 11 squared minus 6 square root 2 in bracket squared. Take it a step further. We have 44 plus 24 square root 2. All over, 11 squared is 1, 2, 1. 6 square root 2 squared is 72. 1, 2, 1 take away 72 is 49. That there is my answer. An equivalent answer will be to split this fraction into two parts. And the two parts will be 44 over 49 plus 24 over 49 square root 2. So these two answers are equivalent. Here is an exam style question. Simplify 3 minus 2 square root 5 all over square root 5 minus 1, giving your answer in the form p plus q square root 5, where p and q are rational numbers. First of all, a rational number is of the form a over b, where a and b are integers, b is not equal to 0. Secondly, 3 minus 2 square root 5 over square root 5 minus 1 can be represented in the form p plus q square root 5 if and only if we rationalize the denominator of this particular fraction. So how do we rationalize the denominator of this particular fraction? Well, we multiply the fraction by square root 5 plus 1 over square root 5 plus 1. The inverse of minus is plus. Okay, so in the numerator we have 3 minus 2 square root 5 in brackets multiplied by square root 5 plus 1 in brackets. In the denominator we have square root 5 minus 1 in brackets 
multiplied by square root 5 plus 1 in brackets. So, now we need to expand the numerator as our next step. 3 multiplied by square root 5 is 3 square root 5. 3 multiplied by positive 1 is positive 3. Negative 2 square root 5 multiplied by square root 5 is negative 10. Negative 2 square root 5 multiplied by positive 1 is negative 2 square root 5. All over, the denominator is of the form difference of two squares. x minus y in bracket multiplied by x plus y in bracket, which can be written in the form x squared minus y squared. So for this particular fraction, the denominator can be rewritten as square root 5 in bracket squared minus 1 squared. Simplifying further, 3 square root 5 minus 2 square root 5 is square root 5. 3 take away 10 is negative 7. All over square root 5 squared, which is 5, take away 1 squared, which is 4. Okay, now we take it a step further. Square root 5 minus 7 over 5 take away 1, which is 4. This is not the final answer. We need to write it in the form p plus q square root 5. So we need to split this fraction into two parts. So by doing this, I get 1 over 4 square root 5 minus 7 over 4. I can swap these two terms to give it in this particular form. So if I swap these two terms, I get negative 7 over 4 plus 1 over 4, square root 5. Hence, the p will just be negative 7 over 4, the q will be 1 over 4. So p is equal negative 7 over 4, q is equal 1 over 4. Both p and q are rational numbers. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.